Boeing has announced it's cutting back its workforce by about 2,000 workers by the end of the year. The cutbacks affect machinists. Cairo 7's Frank Field is at Payne Field, where one of the union's offices is. Frank, what are you hearing? Well, we caught up with workers last night after they had gotten word about the cutbacks, and they were understandably on edge because individual notices have not gone out yet. But Boeing says the cutbacks are happening because they need fewer workers on their two newest lines. The cutbacks are happening to workers who do refinishing and modifications to the 747-8 jumbo jet and the new 787 Dreamliner after they come off the assembly line. Rumors about the cuts had been circulating for weeks. Those of us who've been here for a while know the way Boeing works. You have the expansions and the contractions, and we eventually try to find places for everybody. The company says the cutbacks are not related to the grounding of the 787 because of problems with its battery system. There's just less need for the employees now that production has stabilized, a claim that sounds dubious to machinists. I think we have uh, some issues, the battery issue, the uh, slow down in the other lines. We, we have to juggle people around. It's the way that they do it. Most of the cutbacks will come through attrition, but about 800 workers will be laid off. We never want to see stuff like this happen. The uh, union says that the, uh, the layoffs will happen by seniority, so the newest people who have been hired will be let go first, but they'll also be the first to be offered jobs when the need arises again.